The One Football app has a brand new look, but all the same old features that are useful for an FPL manager. Get customized push notifications to receive team news, goal alerts, and more. Download it for free via the link in the description. A score of 46 points in game with 28 has seen a drop in rank down to 9.3k. The decision to bring in Martinez almost got off to a flying start, but Jamal Assel snatched the last minute equaliser to deny him the clean sheet. Target narrowly missed out on an assist after his cross to Watkins was diverted in by Kieran Clark for an own goal. Cancelo created two big chances against Fulham, one of which led to John Stone's goal. Guardiola made seven changes to his side for the 3 0 win which saw both De Bruyne and Gundogan drop out. Since neither made an appearance, Dallas and me came off the bench to replace the pair. Captaincy then fell to Salah, who was unable to end his barren streak in the Premier League against Wolves. It was a game of few chances for the Egyptian, but he saw a late effort ruled out for offside. Calvert-Lewin bagged the only goal amongst the forwards, while Bamford was withdrawn in the first half against Chelsea through injury. Kane went close to scoring from a free kick that hit the post, having already had a goal ruled out for offside. So let's take a look at the transfer plans ahead of Friday's blank game week 29 deadline. The question is how many hits to take this week, for those of us without the free hit chip. But with just four matches taking place, and a lack of reliable options, it isn't a huge concern to be fielding less than 11 players. The plan remains to use the wildcard in game week 31, so there'd only be one or two game weeks for any hits to pay off. If Bamford is available, it'll be possible to get up to nine players with a four-point hit. The plan is to bring in a Spurs midfielder, and due to the concerns over him with some, it's Gareth Bale who'll likely come in. The Wales captain is the most transferred in player ahead of game week 29, having amassed four goals and two assists in the last four game weeks, to average eight points per game. Salah has now gone five consecutive league matches without a goal or assist, and doesn't have a fixture this game week. Despite only managing one goal in the last four game weeks, Luckman has been posting strong in the line numbers ahead of his home fixture against Leeds. In the last six game weeks, only Rafinha has attempted more assists, and only Kane and Rafinha have taken more than his 17 shots. By selling De Bruyne rather than Gundogan, it'll be possible to fund a move for Bruno Fernandes in place of Lingard for game week 30. Veltman and Aubameyang are the other main targets ahead of Blank Gaming 29, if further hits were to be taken, but currently the plan is to stop at minus 4. Here's how the team is set to line up. A clean sheet looks unlikely for Martinez against Spurs, and he may have to rely on save points. But Aston Villa have only shipped 4 goals in their last 6 matches, only West Brom, Man United and Chelsea have fared better. It looks set to be just a 2-man defence, comprising of Dallas and Target. Amongst defenders with a fixture this game week, only Tierney can match the Aston Villa left-back for attempted assists in the last four game weeks, with six. Dallas has had 10 open play shots during this calendar year, three more than any other defender with a game week 29 fixture. Joining the potential new signings in midfield will be Lingard and Rafinha. Over the last six game weeks, the Leeds winger has provided a league best 21 attempted assists, while only Kane has taken more than his 20 shots. His tally of six big chances created ranks joint top with Hyung Min Son. Lingard has matched the Brazilian with eight shots on target in the same period. Only Gundogan has landed more amongst midfielders. Hopefully Bamford is able to shake off his injury ahead of the trip to Fulham, though we're still awaiting an official update. The 27-year-old has fired 14 shots in the box over the last six game weeks, behind only Dian and Kane amongst forwards. The England captain ranks top across all positions for shots in total, from inside the box and on target. Given the lack of premium assets on show in Game Week 29, it's shaping up to be a fairly straightforward captaincy decision. Kane has accrued four goals and two assists in the last six game weeks, averaging 5.9 points per game. Spurs have netted 13 goals in that time, behind only Leicester and Man City. Their opponents, Aston Villa, have conceded just four goals meanwhile, but have allowed 10 big chances. And only four teams have faced more shots in the box.